from Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. I got it. I got it. And now. And now. Here he is. Tom Likas. Professor Tom Likas, if you will, with Likas 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. I am your professor. This is my classroom. Class is in session. You call us here at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Let's say hello here to Kyle on the Tom Likas Show. Hi, Tom. Hi, Kyle. Kyle. Yes. Um, simply put, I'm shy. And last time I got laid was about two years ago. I've only had three girlfriends. And what is your what is your question? Where do I go to find women? Because I have been doing work since I was eighteen. Why are you so shy? Let's start with that. I don't know. I was mainly raised by my mom because my dad is out of town. That's part of the problem. Uh, that could be it. Your dad was not around to teach you how to be an a hole. Yeah, mainly. Except right. for when I got in trouble. <laughs> Right. Okay. And uh, your mom and dad are still married? Yes. Did your dad ever talk to you about how to pick up chicks? No. Maybe you should have that conversation with him. Uh, I don't like having conversations with my dad. Why? Because uh, he intimidates me. Your dad intimidates you? Yeah. So let's review. Women intimidate you. Your dad intimidates you. Yeah, simply put. Yep, you, Whenever you, I ask a chick out, she goes, oh, no, I'd rather be friends. Yeah, well, that's that's a sign of a problem. Yeah. and uh, But, of course, uh, women like guys who are assertive, confident, and uh, who act like a-holes. Cool, everything I'm not. Well, you, then maybe what you need to do is exactly the opposite of what your instincts tell you, whatever that might be. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So what would you do differently? Uh, just go up to them, ask them if they want to get laid, or if not, just walk away. Well, not quite, because women will always say no when you ask them if they want to get laid. Uh so you need to address them with a variety of, uh, uh, well, first of all, you're not going to approach women. What you're going to do is you're going to be in the presence of women uh, at places where women hang out, uh, clubs, bars. Where where do you meet women? Uh, I was at school, but now I'm going to school. I'm working. Why aren't you going to school? Because I do not think that. I am motivated enough to go to school. Well, pal, let's just give you this motivation. You know how hard it is meeting women now? Oh, all you do is work. Go home. Let me tell you something. Please. Let me tell you something. You know how hard it is to meet women now? Uh, if you, if you, No, no. Do you know? How hard is it? Let me ask you. How hard is it for you to meet women right now? Real hard because I'm working all the time. Whatever the reason. If you don't go to college and get a degree and make something of yourself, it's going to stay this way forever. Damn. I'm not so well. <laughs> you need to go back to school. Yeah. You need to do it as soon as possible. Okay. How many years have you completed? I completed high school. So you've never been to college? No, I've never gone to college. And the reason to get is what? Huh? And what was the reason? Because you're not motivated? That, and I don't think I'm intelligent enough. So you're not intelligent, and you have no motivation. Did you also add in there you have very low self-esteem? Yes, I do. Yeah. And uh, the reason you have such low self-esteem is because your dad wasn't around? No, my dad voice in my head is my uh, self-esteem put her down her. Did that come from your mom? No, that'd be from my dad. From your dad? Your and dad. teachers and principals and... So everybody told, everybody told you you're a loser? Yep. 
and you believed it. Unfortunately. Did you ever consider the possibility that they're wrong? Yeah. Do you know how many people do you know how many year. people did that to me? How many? Everybody. Do you know that when I was 15 years old, I had a, a an opportunity to meet with the program director of a radio station. I was 15. And I brought my tape of my work because I had worked on a radio station a couple of times. I brought a tape of my work. And I was very nervous about having this meeting with the program director of this station. And when I was 15, I didn't realize this was some tea kettle AM station with a lousy signal. And the program director was a complete loser. But I, I, to me, it was just the guy was the program director and he was meeting with me and I was so excited. And I went down with my tape and I was just hoping to get some silly job on the weekend once in a while or pressing some buttons during a ball game or something like that. I brought my tape. He made me wait for half an hour in the lobby. And when he was done, he came out and said to me, uh, you're no good. You should consider doing something else for a living. You have a speech impediment. You have a lousy voice. And uh, you really ought to consider doing something else. Was he in there getting high on something? or? Well, you don't understand. If I were like you, I would have just taken a, a job like you did and said, forget it. But... Being criticized like that motivated me to prove him wrong. And by the way, this guy is now a ham radio operator somewhere on Long Island, and I can buy and sell that guy five times over. Cool. But do you understand? It's all about having confidence in yourself. See, I don't know how to gain confidence in myself. Dude. Well, first of all, don't believe the bad things everyone else says about you. What do they know? Sure. What do they know? Do they know you? Do most of the people who criticize you really know you? No. <laughs> so why do you believe what they say? I don't know. Do you know I have people today who I don't need to name because they know who they are. I have people today who criticize me, critique me, and tell me I'm no good. Do you know that? Today. Do you think I believe them? No. Do you think I let them ruin my life? No. Do you think I let them get me down? No. No. Because I've seen them come and I've seen them go. And the bottom line is, you can try anything you like uh, to tear me down. You can't do it. You have to develop that attitude. Well, how do I develop an attitude like that? Well, first of all, you have to say it to yourself. And, and let's face it, you know I'm right. If you know I'm right, then you can have the attitude. Are you as bad as everyone says? What's that? Are you as stupid as everyone says? Uh, Tom, you're uh, breaking up. Oh, my God, you're killing me. All right. Good luck. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's like us 101. I am your professor. Let's say hello here to uh, Stephen on the Tom Likas show. Yes. How are we doing, Dad? I, I can't speak for us, but I'm doing great. Right on. First time, long time? Yes. I called to get some advice from you. Okay. Uh, met some female at a bar uh, last week. Um, found out that she definitely is not the person she came out to be. Uh, she pretty much runs around anywhere she can get it, is what I found out in the last week. Um uh, so I didn't know that. I took her to the mom and dad's house for dinner. You know, had, thought maybe she could meet them. Totally wasn't up to anybody's expectations, anybody's books. And uh, pretty much to try to get her off of me. You know, I, I was thinking about changing my number and stuff, but I, I don't know. First of all, let me ask you this question, okay? Um, what made you think you could turn uh, some slut into uh, a girlfriend? Uh, 
Nothing really. I just thought she was a nice girl when I when I met her. You know, I didn't know she was a slut when I met her. Well, she went home with you. You you know what? Nice girls don't hang out at bars. Do you understand that? I. You go to the bar not to be the nice girl. You go to the bar to get laid. Exactly. So somewhere along the way, you were duped into thinking that a girl who goes to a bar looking for sex is somehow Mary Poppins. Right. And I was listening yesterday too about the. Uh, the Halloween parties and the sluts that go to those. And uh, I actually just got off the phone with her. She is going up as a pinup girl tonight to a Halloween party. And, uh, Case closed. But why are you acting surprised? I'm not. I, you know, I've listened to you forever. I know I know the logics of, of retarded women these days. You were lucky to meet a slut at the bar who put out. That's fantastic. Right. right. But that's why you need a bullpen, son. Right. Right. So that you don't start uh, mooning after any one girl like you started to do with this girl. Right. So, okay. Right on. So, so to get her off of me, off my back, without changing my number. What, well, wait, but when you say she's on your back, what, she wants you to come over and have sex with her? Uh, she's, she's always calling me. And right. What's wrong with that? Oh, I just, I don't know. I, I'm do, not you wanna have, do you want to have sex with her? Absolutely. Right. Why not have sex with her? Right on. You don't have to take every call she makes. In fact, I don't recommend it. But uh, when you get into booty call territory, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, absolutely take those calls. Right. That's, okay. that's prime booty call time. Right. All right. Thanks for the advice, Dad. All right, son. Can you attend my class? It is for your own good. I mean, a girl decides how far she's going to let you go in the first five minutes. You in my class? I am today. So how long do I wait to call? A day. Tomorrow. Mm -mm. Tomorrow, then a day. Yeah. So two days. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Definitely. Two days. Uh, two days is like industry standard. Well, how long are you guys going to wait to call your babies? Six, Six days. days. How many times did you call her this week? Twice. Twice? You called her twice? Dan, never call abroad more than once a week. Never, ever, ever. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-8666. It's Likas 101 on the Tom Likas Show. Like it 101, I am your professor, 1 800 5800 Tom. Alan, I'm Like It's 101, hello. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Good. Hey, so I have a problem and I need your help. Okay. Um, I have a girlfriend who has really bad smoker's breath. And it is really, really bad. And I'm wondering what I should do. There's nothing you can do. It's part of the package. Get another package? She is part. Of, that is part of her package. Yeah, I mean, how do I tell her? Yeah, well, do I just tell her? Come on, tell her. You yeah, got why not? Breath? But the thing is, uh, you tell her that, that you can't handle it. That's it. If it doesn't okay. change, you're out, and it's not an ultimatum. Yeah, you know that she's a smoker, and it's hard to quit. So that's it. Done. Okay. I mean, you know. you're not going to change that. Right. Quitting smoking is difficult. If you can't be with somebody like that, if that's too distasteful for you or too difficult to handle, it's time to go. Okay. That's good news. <laughs> you, sound, you sound relieved in general. Yeah, I, I, I didn't, didn't, didn't think it was going to be that easy. So. Well, you, what, you, you wanted to break up with her, but you were worried about breaking up? Well, no, I, did. I mean, I like the girl. I like her a lot. I just didn't know how to approach it. And so if you could be the man to figure out, I mean, I can't make, you know, an ultimatum, do it or quit. So. That, I, I don't give ultimatums. If I don't right. like somebody, I, I, I leave them. Yeah. I don't, and I don't accept an ultimatum either. You give me an sense. ultimatum and it's over. A fa if you say either I do X or you're right. leaving me. Might as well right. leave right um, now. Okay. All right, so don't keep a bottle of scope by the bed. Don't do anything. No. This is this should not be your responsibility. Okay. 
All right. Smokers should be with other smokers. Gotcha. And I'm a cancer survivor, so every time I kiss her, I feel like I'm Ugh. kissing cancer. So. <laughs> well, you can't catch cancer. No. No. But you know what I mean. So. Well, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. All right, buddy. Thank you. Frank, I'd like us 101. Hello. Hey, man, how are you doing? I'm just calling to update you on my situation. All right, before you do that, tell everybody what we talked about last time you were here. Well, what it is is that I uh, I was in a situation, I in a relation with uh, this uh, girl that I consider my wife. Uh, for 10 years, we have four kids, and then uh, one day I got off of work, and I got home, and she was gone. So uh, she didn't want me to call her or, you know, talk to her at all, you know, not even get close to her at all, nothing. And it's been three months, but... Uh, since all that went on, we went to the courts and got paperwork for child support, child custody, and whatever. But now, last week, we had sex three times. And I just am confused in all this. You know, I really don't know what's the next thing that is going to well, happen. Did you, because, why did you do that? Uh, I mean, I still love her. I feel for her. And, I mean, I wanted to be with her. But that's yeah, but why. what happens if she gets pregnant again? She can't. She, she, she had her tubes tied with the last kid we had. You're sure? Yes. How do you know? Because I went with her to get the surgery done right underneath her belly button. They made mm. an incision there. Okay. And uh, she told me that it was nothing but sex. That no, don't think nothing else about it. It's all sex. But well, I think. But, that then, but, but you see, you yourself then are allowing yourself to be confused. I. I yes. Yes. If, I if think you I can't, if you can't have sex with her without emotions being involved, you have to say no. But, but see, when, when we're having sex or whatever, man, she gets all into it and she, you know, while, and kisses me. While she's having sex. Right. I, you know, and uh, going to court is getting close. We're going to start going to court on next month, on the 12th. And I've been telling her, let's just stop all this court stuff. You know, let's just get back together. Let's give the kids the best we can. But she's just negative, you know. She says, I don't want to go back to the life I had. I want to do what I want. I want to live on my own. Do what I want, wear whatever I want, and nobody telling me nothing. There I you want go. You to act so, so she's made her mind up. But she always changes her mind. That's why. I'm no, kinda like, she doesn't change her mind. She has sex with you. Right, and, and that's what she told me. You know, I'm the only one that, in the back of my head, I believe. Oh my God, we're gonna. By the way, get back. she has told you the truth all the way through. Right. She said, "Don't get confused by this. It's nothing but sex." She told you that, and you're not listening. And 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 I, I think that maybe you know she's gonna change her mind eventually, but I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> you are. I, I mean, I, I can't say that because look, I mean, I can I can find me another girl, no problem. But I just feel no satisfaction, you know. And when I'm with her, you know, I feel the best I can. And I well, you, you need to have a bigger lineup. I just don't know how to get her back, and I, I think that you I'm, can't get her back. I'm a loser, huh? <laughs> it's not being a loser. She wants to go out and do her own thing. By the way, she wants to have sex with other people. I'm sure that that's... She well, told you that. When she whatever. tells you she wants to wear whatever she wants, why do you think that is? Right. Because you and tell her, don't dress sexy when you go out. And she wants to dress sexy, and she wants to dress sexy for the reasons that women want to dress sexy. For male attention and to get laid. Right. And she tells me that she hasn't been with nobody. That's why Yet. she's having sex. She says that that's why she's having sex with me because she doesn't want to be with nobody else. Well, she says that now, but once she starts going out dressing sexy and guys start uh, hitting on her, at some point she's going to break down and do that. I'm sure that eventually that's what's going to happen. Maybe that's what's going to make me, you know, forget about her. But, but why you know, wait until that time? You should be preparing for that time uh, by having a bullpen and going out and uh, reaching out to other women. I, I I tried going out, but it's just like I can't get her out of my head. I'm stubborn, I guess. Well, she already told you don't be confused. And so uh, it's not that she hasn't been honest with you. It's that you yourself are not listening to what she has to say. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Likus 101. I am your professor. This is Aaron on the Tom Likus Show. Tom? Is that a question or a statement? <laughs> Sorry. Um, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm dating a guy and I, I started dating him and I didn't know that much about him and I, it, it sort of ended up coming to my, I ended up finding out that he's 
really good friends with both my brothers. He's, like, been to my house before, like, for, like, he went home from college with my brothers on vacation while I was away still at college, and I, I like, I'm, I'm disgusted. I can't look at him anymore. I don't, under, I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, I mean, are you just having sex with a guy? Are you trying to have a relationship with him? What is the deal? Well, no, I mean, like, we went out, like, we've been going out for, like, two weeks. I brought him home to meet my parents, and they knew him. And my, one of my brothers, my oldest brother, was home, and he was just like, yeah, it was just, it ever, it, I really, I, I saw it going somewhere, and now I can't even, and I don't, I feel like, like, something inherently wrong with me as a person. Well, I don't know what's inherently wrong with you. I have no idea. But I don't understand why... Uh, uh, look, I myself never like to bring any sluts and whores to my parents' home or to meet my friends or family. You just wanted to bang. I, I haven't even slept with him. I just really liked the guy. Well, why would it bother you? I mean, look, if you're the kind of girl that brings guys home to your parents, why would this bother you? I, don't, I, I didn't... I'm not. I, I just. I. I want things to be separate from them. I don't. So, do you do that with all the guys you meet? Do I what with all the guys? Do you I do meet? that with all the guys you meet? You don't bring any of them home. No. It all right, then it's done. You can't see the guy because you don't like to mix. Uh, you know your. Uh, your f buddies with your family. I guess I. I don't want my family to know my partner my significant other better than I do. Well, there you go. So the decision's been made. So just drop him, huh? Drop him. But he's so good. That doesn't matter, darling. Uh, okay. Okay? All right. Do you feel that way? It's never going to work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Right? Yes. Yes, just no, too. What's that? Yes and no. Yeah, what do you mean yes and no? I don't know. Can I just move to another country? Well, he, yeah. The, <laughs> the, the truth is not going to change. I know, I know, I know. It's just, you know, you think you're you're looking for someone, you find someone good finally, and it's just something completely retarded gets in the well, way. Well, you have two choices. Get over it or get out. Yeah, I know. You're completely right. There's it's nothing right. else. Those, those are your two choices. It's not me, and I have to... So, w which will you do? I, I don't know. I, I don't want to... Maybe I get over it and just tell him we never go home again. Well... Aaron, I think you know your choices. Now you have to deal with them. 1-800-5800-TOM. Like is 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. And Tom. The Tom Likas Show. Like is 101. I am your professor. 1-800-5800-TOM is your telephone number. Lydia on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. I wanted to get some advice. Um, I've been dating this guy for around nine months or so, and I'm ready to move into a more serious relationship. But um, the thing is that he's just been, he just got divorced about a year ago. He has two kids, and um, I wanted to get some advice from you to see what are the odds of a of the relationship or of something working out with him. First of all, I think twenty one is too young for a serious relationship. Mm -hmm. Way too young. Way too young. Yes. But I think I'm ready, though. No, no, no. <laughs> darling, <laughs> you're not ready uh, for a number of reasons, not the least of which is. Uh, how many guys have you even dated? I've dated quite a few. <laughs> how many is quite a few? Three, four? Uh, no, a bit more than that. Ten? Around. Nine? Yes. Yeah, so Nine guys? Yes. So you've been dating since you were 13? No. <laughs> Around 15, 16. So nine guys in six years? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. So that's one right. one every year and a half. That's mm -hmm. not a lot of dating, darling. Mm -hmm. It's not. I guess 
not. What do you mean your guess is not? It's not. It's not. You're right. It's not. And uh, by the way, you're 21. Are you going to school? Yes. I, I mean a college, darling. Yes, I am. Which college is it? I'm going to Cal State L.A. Cal State L.A., and you are majoring in what? Don't say a being a beautician. What? No, 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 no. I'm, being, I'm going for my RN. You're what? RN. You know, you're going to be an RN? Yes. All right. And um, so you're going to become an RN, but you're not even there yet. When, when will you be graduating? Um, in about a year or so. So for that reason alone, you're not ready. Okay. Because uh, this stuff will start to interfere with your schoolwork. And, and what many women of uh, your ilk do is you drop out of school or you put school aside or you put it off. Yeah, but, but, but when I mean a more serious relationship, I mean not just dating. I mean, I don't want him going out with no one else. I mean, I just want to make it official. But but, but again, uh, I, I, I just don't think you are ready for a relationship like that. Uh, not being done with school is an indicator you're not ready. Okay. I mean, you call. As you, remember, you called me and asked me for advice. Right. I'm always fascinated by people like you who call me and ask me for advice and then start arguing with me. I'm not arguing with well, you. Well, you're, you're giving me all the reasons I'm wrong. <laughs> okay. Right? Right. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to do what you want to do and you don't need my advice, why are we here? Right. Okay, and say that I wait... Uh, another year or so with this guy. I mean, what are the odds of something? Well, happening? here's the other thing, darling. Um, why do you want to be in a relationship with somebody who has somebody else's children? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I don't want to have kids of my own. Because you don't want to have kids of your own? No, so he has kids already, because so I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, but uh, how do you feel about his ex being around all the time? Um, they're, it's very brief, the communication that they have, I mean... Well, do, do you live with him? I'm sorry? Do you live with him? No, no, no. Then you don't know how much communication they have. Right. I mean, he must see her. Yeah, he does. How do you feel about that? Well, you don't know because you haven't experienced it. Right. Well, what do you need with that in your life? I don't need that. I don't. Hell, you're telling me you need to make this a more serious relationship. Yeah, but I guess I wanted that little push to kind of convince me that it's not exactly what I need right now. Get your degree. Get your career going. Get your life going. And not only that, you don't need to be with somebody who has children by somebody else. I can tell by the way you said you don't want him going out with other people that you are a jealous type. Yes, I am. Yeah, so uh, I'm telling you, this is a toxic situation for you to get involved with somebody who's always going to be seeing his ex. Seeing her, talking to her, sending her emails, talking to her on the phone, you're going to hate it. All right. Right? Right, yes. You're right, Tom. So why in the world would you want to do that? Because I'm stupid. <laughs> I agree. Because <laughs> I'm dumb, yes. I mean, I really I really just don't get it. So you, you need to go back to school, keep going to school, keep working towards your degree, and stop worrying about having a serious relationship. It's not the time. It's not. No. You're right. It's not. All right. The issue is settled. Thank you. Thank you, darling. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Francisco on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's up? Not much. Uh, new listener, first-time caller. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have. I need some advice from you. I'm here. Uh, okay, I've been dating this girl for two years now, and um, we get into a lot of arguments um, over the stupidest stuff. Um, 
just recently she's told me, you know what, I don't feel the same about you anymore. I want to go out and do my own stuff without anybody telling me what to do. But it hurts me because I love the girl and I want to be with her. And I really don't know what to do. You're 20 years old. Yes. You are too young, and this is proving it. Okay. She is too young, and you are too young. The reason she wants to go out partying without you is because she's 20 years old. And that's what people do when they're 20 years old, and it's what you should be doing. Uh, but I have time to party sometimes because I have two jobs. All right, so this is all a jealousy issue. By the way, two jobs, why aren't you in school? For the same reason, two jobs. Yeah, but couldn't you have gone to community college and had one job? Well, I did that, but, like, I don't know. I, I, I went off uh, balance with my credit cards, and I just got two jobs to pay why did you? Why did you do that? I really don't know why, Tom. I guess I'm stupid. Yeah, I think you are. <laughs> and now that Mer I work in Mervyn's, Mervyn's is closing. And <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, I'm going to leave that job. Uh, I'm going to apply to full-time school starting next semester. That's a good move. You are not going to have time for a full-time relationship. You've got homework, you've got studying, you've got work to do. All right. You don't have time. So what should I do with this girl? Have sex with her and be done with it. Stop being a little puppy dog. Be a man. Bang her and clang her. Hit her and quit her. <laughs> but... I'm not that, I don't know, I don't think I'm that type of guy. You have to be that type of guy. Step okay. it up, son. Where's your father? Father, he's working. <laughs> yeah, but where is he, uh, does he, is he still with your mom? Yeah, he's still with mom. Yeah, and uh, what would your dad say? Uh, me and my dad, me and my dad never had a really close relationship. As a little kid, he never had the time to come to us and be like, oh, you know, how was your day? And That's why that. people call me dad, son. I'm filling in. And I'm telling you, to be a real man, you should just get laid and not worry about it. I don't think I'm confident enough. What do you mean you're not confident enough? You're already having sex with her. <laughs> can't you just enjoy what you're getting? I, I can't. I, what, what did you say? Why do you have to fi fall in love with every piece of ass you meet? Why can't you just have sex? I really don't know why, Tom. <laughs> Hang on a second, Francisco. Sylvia, what did you want to say to Francisco? Francisco, all I need to know exactly, what is your race? Because I'm a Latina, I'm Mexican, and I think you're following these traditions that all Latinos follow on trying to get hooked up, having babies. Dude, grow up and get yourself some ass. I am all the time and I'm a girl I'm a chick Tom and I'm the one having more ass than this stupid fool here oh I love that have I, I mean, met have I met you yet oh probably Tom maybe soon maybe soon <laughs> I mean Francisco what are you thinking you're 20 years old get a job get a job go to school main thing is go to school dude seriously all right and get laid when you're at school. All right. Like a real man. <laughs> Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. A Tom Likas show. From Hollywood... Like us 101 with your professor at 1 800 5 800 Tom. Let's say hello here to Tony on the Tom Like His Show. Uh, hello, Tom. Tony. How you doing, Tom? How you doing? Oh, man, I'm, 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 I'm going crazy right now, Tom. Why is that? I need some advice from you, man. I oh, know man. you, you smart man. You've done your homework and. Oh man, this this lady, man, this lady. She she. Uh, I mean, we met her 
We met her when uh, who met her? I was in El Salvador. You know, we you, met her. We who, met her. What do you say? We, we met her. Who, uh, how many of you met her? Oh no, it's me. It's just me. You uh, met, I her. met her. I met her. Okay. Okay. So you met. Uh, so you were in El Salvador and you met a woman. Uh, I was. I was. She was nine and I was thirteen. So we we used to live on this little town over there in El Salvador, and uh, we went to school together. We got together, and. Uh, you know, we got these two boys, a nine-year-old boy and a 13-year-old little girl. And, uh, what? It's been, it's been going off, you know. I'm 30 right now. I'm 29, not 29. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You said you have kids? Yeah, we have kids together. How old are they? One of them is nine, and the little girl is uh, 13. Wait a minute. You're 29, it says here. Yeah. You knocked her up when you were 15? That's it. Why'd you do that? I don't know, man. What do you mean you don't know? I guess I didn't put a rubber on it. Like... Yeah, but the, all right, you make the mistake once. Why'd you do it twice? I thought I was going to, you know, I thought she was taking pills or something, but... But, 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 but when she got pregnant the first time, you knew she wasn't on anything, right? Yeah. So why did you keep doing it? I guess because I loved her. Well, that was stupid, because are you a millionaire? Ah oh, man, I'm a, I'm just a, I have a pretty decent job, you know. You're so you're a millionaire? Ah, uh, no, I'm not. Why? So how do you pay for two kids like that? Well, over there it's not that. Uh, so she li So she lives in El Salvador. Yeah. And your kids live in El Salvador. Yeah, they 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 they're down there. She's here. She came when she came like uh. She years wait. Ago. She's here, and the kids are there. Yeah, they're over there with the with her parents down there. So, are you paying child support? Oh no, no, no! I just give her a little because we we left. Uh, she left me yesterday. You were we living. Left, with we her. had a big. We had a big argument. So yesterday. let me understand this: you're living with this girl, and you the two of you have two children, but they live in another country. Yeah, that's correct. What kind of life is that? A messed up life, Tom. That's the, yes, it is, Tony. Yeah, and and the other thing is, her mom, her mom gets involved in the in our relationship too much. You know, she listens to what her mom says. Where Where is her mother? Her, her mom is over here. <laughs> so everybody but your kids are over here. Who's taking care of your kids? Uh, her dad. Her. her why is her dad in El Salvador and her mom here? Did you know. Immigration status, they can't be over here. Your kids can't be here? No, nah, they, 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 they're they fixing papers for them. Are you American? Uh, No, nah, I came here when I was nine. So are you, are, are you legal? You have a green oh, yeah. card? But, yeah, but, but, you, but you never became a citizen? Uh, no, I'm, I'm working on that. I'm working on that. But the, well, then the answer is simple. No, you're not a citizen. No, I'm not. So, therefore, you have no basis to bring your kids here. That's right. Right. And you've been here for how long? Uh, nine, and then I left uh, when I was 14, went to school down there. So you were here until you were 14 in L.A.? Yeah. Wait a minute, you were born where, here or in El Salvador? I was, I, I was born over there in El Salvador. All right, and then you came to L.A. when you were how old? When I was nine. And then you went back when you were 14? Then I went back when I was 14. And is that because you got caught, or is that because... Oh, it's because my mom, my mom, I was, I didn't want to go to school, so she decided to send me back down there, so I could go to school down there, you know. Hmm. So uh, that's where I met her, that's where I met her down there, and uh, we got together, and she didn't even finish school, I did finish my, my high school down there, then came back in 2000. Then she came like two years ago, but we were still talking, you know. She was down there, and I was here, and we were still talking. So what is your question, Tony? Oh, man. Uh, how, how can I forget her, man? How uh, can you forget her? Yeah, man. <laughs> she left you. That's how. She yeah. left you. Okay. Why would you be in love with someone who dumped you? I don't know, man. I don't know, Tom. To be honest with you, man, I don't know. Well, don't you have any dignity? Uh, no. I don't think so. Right now, no. 
I don't get it. I mean, you were arguing. Yeah, we were arguing. She, she left the, you. Yeah. Why in the world would you think that... Do you think that's all you deserve is a relationship like that? I don't think so. <laughs> so if, if you don't think you deserve that, why are you mooning after her? Yes, I'm going to have to forget her, man. Yes, you're going to have to forget her. Yes, you are. Have to, right, Tom? You have to, and you have to move on. This is why I tell people, do not be starting relationships when you're a teenager. Don't do it. Don't do it. I wish I could have listened to your show Ooh, way back, back back in the days, man. Well, me too. We were on back in that day. I know. Uh... Well, thank you anyways, Tom. All right, Tony. And keep it up, man. Keep it up. Can you take me out of uh, Kobe style, Tom? Yes, Tony. I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 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 It's 1-800-5800, Tom. John is listening to our online stream in Sacramento on the Tom Likas show. I got a minute. Hello? Hey, Tom. Um, I just want to be real quick. Uh, my question has to do with marriage. You always say that marriage is uh, is not beneficial to men whatsoever. And on, on the legal uh, standpoint, I totally agree with you. Uh, when when a divorce happens, a man is ruined. But one benefit of marriage is the intimacy that you get with somebody that you grow to love uh, over time. You can grow to love somebody without signing a contract and having it approved by the state of California. Well, that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking, how do you compensate for the lack of intimacy that you have when you live a Lycus 101 lifestyle? I, I noticed that you said on, on several occasions that you have a therapist. Is, is that the way? I that have you therapy, do it? but I, I'm, uh, what I recommend more is having a circle, a network of close friends, people you've known for a long time, the kind of people you can talk to about anything. And if you have that, you don't need to do it with the person you're having sex with. The Tom Lycus Show.